Have you ever felt like a square peg in a round hole? Because I've felt like that lots of times. I can remember a period about five years ago when there was so much going on, so much noise coming at us, bombarding us from different angles, that I began to wonder whether the things that I thought were right or not, or whether I've been wrong all the time and everybody else seemed to know it all. And I didn't know whether... I was crazy or whether I just felt alone in this world with all of the people that were around me. You see, we get this world view from people who we work with, our social circle of friends that we go out with and we meet on a regular basis. And then, of course, we have social media. And to me, social media is where all the children come out to play. I'll tell you what I mean in a minute. But the truth of the matter is, those people that we talk to all of the time, those people that we're around all the time, we listen to the input that they're giving us. And we start to think that that's how the world is. But you see, it's not. That's just the world view of a few people that we see. But the problem is, it comes into our mind and it seems to take over. And then if you're reading newspapers and if you're watching the news and all that sort of thing, and you don't agree with a lot of what you're hearing, it makes you feel like you're not in the right place, if you like. I loved what the Beach Boys said. They sang a song called I Guess I Just Wasn't Made For These Times. And that's how I felt. And the trouble is, you think you're on your own. But I've come to believe that you're not. You're part of a silent majority. Because what you find happens, there used to be a saying that the squeaky wheel gets all the oil. And that's what's happening now. You're hearing so much input from everybody. It's so easy to give everybody's input to you. And... It's usually those that think they know it all that will keep plastering you. We, I feel in this day and age that we're being forced down a route in which we're told where we should go. And if we don't, well, then there's something wrong with this. Well, I hate to debunk that theory, but it's crap. And it always will be. The world goes on about living your dream, living, doing the things that you expect to do. Most of us get married, buy a house, get a job, buy a new car, go on holidays. You know, it's a sort of ongoing routine. But what happens if you're one of those people who f that isn't for you? Because to be honest with you, that's how I feel. The last time I had a nine to five job was way back in 1996. I've worked for myself a lot of times since then. And the funny thing is, when you're working for yourself, you tend to work longer hours. However, because I was working for me, the hours didn't seem so important. If you took my daily, my hourly wage when I've worked for myself, certainly comes nowhere close to minimum wage. But what it does it gives you a feeling of self-worth. And over the years, I've found that more and more people uh, are quite willing to openly say, you're mad, you don't know what you're doing. And the people that generally do that to you, I find, haven't really done much themselves. And I've talked about this before, the crabs in the bucket. If they see you trying to get out of whatever their root norm is, they pull you back in and they want you to conform and be part of something. And the truth of the matter is, I think there's a lot of people out there who no longer want to conform and live to that dream of a life that we're expected to have, where we go and get our education, we go and find that job, 
and we stay in that job and progress through our career and get the nice house and the nice car and all that sort of thing. But for a lot of people, that's an illusion because in this day and age, for a lot of people, you're no longer going to be able to buy the house. You may have to rent it, but you certainly won't be able to do that. And have you ever felt to yourself through all these times that you think to yourself, there has to be more to life than this. This can't be it. And that's what I mean, because that's what the majority of us are expecting us to do. And there are people who just don't want to conform to that. Let me give you an example, personal one here. I was 16, working for my dad, and I really wanted to be a radio DJ. I'd listened to the radio all the time, loved all the music and all that sort of thing. And when I suggested to my dad, that's what I wanted to do. He went to me, you're raving. You're absolutely raving. We've got this business. Your future's here. We can do this. You can do that. You'll never earn no money doing that. That will never make you happy. And so I continued on with my life. I did carry on working for my dad. Eventually, I bought my own business. Somewhere along the road, I lost that business. And we did a few more things. But here's the point what I'm going to say to you. At the back end of 2008, I started listening to a Canadian radio presenter. And I got talking to him. And he encouraged me to do what I'd wanted to do when I was way back as a 16-year-old. In the beginning of 2009, I started. And I have to say, from that starting point, I ended up getting my radio shows sold and syndicated to stations completely around the world. I had 95 countries and territories taking my radio shows. And I loved it. And it was a time of my life. And it was a great time for me. In 2016, the end of 2016, I had this kidney operation where I lost the kidney and I had to have time out. After three months, I came back. But the enthusiasm that I'd loved from the radio somewhere had dwindled. And so I called it a day with a heavy heart. After all, it was the thing that I'd always wanted to do. But here's the thing. I tried it. I loved it. I did it for nine years and, can, and came out of it thinking to myself, I did it. It was my goal. It was something I wanted to do. I actually went and did it. And when I did it, people who I've known all my life, Talk to me like I was a fool. What are you doing at your age? What do you want to mess about with that for? And all that sort of thing. But I was happy. I've done that for a lot of my life. Done something as long as I've been happy. And the minute I've stopped being happy, I've called it a day and found something else that I'd like to do. And it's a reason, I suppose, why... I haven't told any of my family or any of my friends that I do this YouTube channel. Why do I need the drama of everybody telling me what am I messing about with that for at your age of life? I don't, so I just don't tell them. And then instead, this channel is my legacy channel to my boys and anybody else who wants to join along with me. But the thing is, sometimes you've got to not conform. If there's something in your heart that makes you want to try and do something else, then don't you think you ought to go for it? You see, it's okay to be different. You don't have to be like everybody else. Because if you look at a lot of people, the truth to be told for all of the nice cars that they have, for all the houses and the nice holidays they go on, the majority of people live their lives in quiet desperation because I'm sure 
that even those who have built those nice careers have had moments in their life where they go, I wish I'd done this. Wish I'd done that. To me, that's crazy. To go through your life following a route because you know it will pay the bills and you know it will give you comfort if you like, but to not be able to go for your goals and the things that you really want to do in life, to me, that's crazy. If you feel alone in your life because you don't feel you can go ahead and do what you want, you're not the only one. There are more like you than you would imagine. Life sends us little guideposts and it's up to us whether we follow them or not. I know for a lot of us, the fear of following that guidepost and what if it all goes wrong? Well, I've lost my business before. I've lost my home before. I've lost everything. And you know what? I'm still here. I'm still doing the things I like to do in life. Times have changed and you sometimes you just got to go with the things that you know you want to do. I understand that for a lot of us, you don't want to face the ridicule. But at the end of the day, don't you feel you ought to be true to yourself? Let me know what you think down below. Have you ever held yourself back because you didn't feel that you were going to get the support going for something that you wanted to? Or on the other hand, did you go for something you wanted to and find it wasn't the thing that you wanted to do? But it was worth doing because you cleared that one out of the way. The truth of the matter is people will come and go in your life. And some of the people that come into your life are there to help you follow your route to where you want to go. If you remember earlier on, I talked about the Canadian radio presenter that helped guide me to where I wanted to go. I didn't expect when I first heard his radio show on the internet to be, it was life changing for me. There's no doubt about it. It gave me an opportunity to do stuff that I never thought I was gonna do in my lifetime. And it was great. I was 16 when I first wanted to do it. I was 49 when I started. All those years passed, but it was biting at me all the time that I still wanted to do it. And then out of the blue, we, it came into an existence. And so if you've spent a lot of years where you've put something to the back, you've quashed it down because you don't want to be laughed at and ridiculed. Do you know it's not too late? If you want to do something in your life, it's not too late. If you want to be happy in your life, then sometimes, just sometimes, you need to do what you feel in your heart is right for you to do. If you've got those goals, go for it. Your life doesn't have to be a drama. I find that when I was last in a nine to five job, there was too much drama going on. There were people, it was political. There's no good saying it. People trying to get higher than somebody else. And that wasn't the game that I wanted to play. I know I'm starting to ramble now. But not to worry. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you'd like to share it with someone who you know might be like that about what they're doing with their life. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do. I'd love to have you as part of the community. I'm going to put a video up there and YouTube are going to pick it for you because they think it's the one that you need to see next. I'll see you next time.